Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 2. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 4 of Book 2, which states that if we have a line segment AB, the square on AB will be equal to the square on AC, the square on CB, plus twice the rectangle formed by AC and CB. Or in other words, x plus y, all squared, is equal to x squared plus y squared plus 2 times x times y. But we will demonstrate this using geometry. The first thing we're going to do is draw our square on AB. From C, we will draw a line that is parallel to BE and label the intersection point with the diagonal as G. And then through G, we will draw another line that's parallel to AB through the point G and label those intersection points H and K. Now if we look at the line AD and CF, they are parallel. And if we have another line crossing two parallel lines, we know that the interior and exterior angles will be equal according to Proposition 29. So this angle here, alpha, is equal to this angle here. We also know that the triangle ADB is an isosceles triangle since AB is equal to AD, since we did draw a square after all. So being an isosceles triangle, the base angles are equal. So this angle is equal to this angle, according to Proposition 5. And now if we look at this little tiny triangle, CGB, we have the two base angles are equal. So by Proposition 6, this is an isosceles triangle. So the important bit here is that CB is equal to CG. And since we have a parallelogram, CBKG, we also know from Proposition 34 that if all the lines are parallel, they are equal. So CG is equal to BK, which is also equal to CB. So we have an equilateral. The next thing we need to demonstrate is that this is a square. So again, looking at the lines CG and BK, they are parallel, and we have a line crossing through two parallel lines. And according to Proposition 29, if a line crosses two parallel lines, the sum of the interior angles is equal to two right angles. But by definition, theta is a right angle because we drew a square. So if theta is a right angle, so is beta. Again, the opposites on a parallelogram, the opposite angles are also equal. So the, all the angles are squares or right angles. All the sides are equal. So CK is a square that is equal to CB times CB. Similarly, HF is also a square, which is equal to AC times AC. Now, if we look at the complements of our parallelogram, if you remember from Proposition 43, the complements of any parallelogram are equal in area. We've already established that CG is equal to CB. So this parallelogram is equal to AC times CB. These two are equal, so this area is also equal to AC times CB. And thus we have this area is equal to CB squared, this area is equal to AC squared, and this area is equal to AC times CB. This area is equal to that one, so it's also equal to AC times CB. And thus we have that AB all squared is equal to AC times AC plus CB times CB plus twice AC times CB. And thus we have demonstrated the proposition. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.